Archangel Gabriel, you are insured. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel is here to let you know that there is nothing to worry about. There is a plan for your life. You are insured. Gabriel has always been the one to bring good news, and today is no different. His sole mission is to bring you comfort and security and the knowledge that your future is well taken care of. All you need to do is let go of the self-doubt. Trust divine will. There is no reason for you to worry that you aren't good enough. The reality is that you were made the way you are for one reason and one reason only. Earth needs you. The very act of being alive means that you're insured. You are who you're supposed to be. There is a plan for you and only you. But it's easy to forget that originals are worth more than copies. We spend our lives comparing ourselves to others instead of resting assured that, that we have enough potential saved to be everything we want to be. And that's exactly how we end up with a depleted self-esteem. We overdraw our accounts by thinking of all the things we're not, not instead of investing in our futures by embracing everything we are. But Archangel Gabriel wants you to know that you're covered. The angels that surround you every day are your insurance brokers. If you run into some trouble, they'll do everything in their power to make sure no harm comes to you. In fact, angels are some of the best insurance brokers out there because not only do they send an emergency response team as soon as you call on them, they also have you covered from A to Z. There is an angel that deals with every type of crisis. And even though Archangel Gabriel is here to remind you of your divine insurance policy. Here are the angels you can call on any time of night or day. Archangel Raphael, the Michael insurance guy. Archangel Angel Raphael answers all healing prayers with love and understanding. If you're experiencing health issues of any kind, just let him know and he'll be there to comfort and care for you. Archangel Michael, travel and car insurance covered. Whenever you are feeling apprehensive about a trip or just in need of protection, you can call on Archangel Michael to clear the way ahead. He's just the guy to get you from A to B safely. Archangel Muriel, emotional insurance is a thing. Muriel is the angel that governs emotions and institution and while we don't often think of ensuring our emotions is really sh should it really should form part of any balanced lifestyle after all our emotions do influence our thoughts and actions so if you've been feeling down in the press Send Muriel a quick message for the best prep talk you'll ever get. Archangel say chill. Insure wealth. With all this talk of insurance, your finances have probably crossed your mind. If that's leaving you anxious and stressed, let Archangel say chill know. You'll soon start attracting all the prosperity and wealth you could ever have dreamed of. But the one angel you can always count on to have you covered is your very own guardian angel. So make sure to take your concerns about the future to the angel that is closest to you. 
They know you better than anyone that will be able to show you how insured you already are. The two of you have a tight bond that helps you communicate openly and honestly with yourself. This might be just what you need to unlock your full potential and embrace the unique gifts you were given. Want to hear from another angel? Crystal, my name. Revelations 21, 11. Mm -hmm. And having the glory of God, his radiance is like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone shining crystal clear. Archangel Crystal, get your degree in positivity. Crystal, have faith and hope because there is something positive. You want a Walmart? Yeah. And new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Crystal. Crystal is the bringer of good news. There is definitely something good coming your way soon. And this message in itself should fill you with hope to some degree. But what about the times that Crystal have isn't there? Those times when all Hope seems to be lost can be devastating, but there is a way to overcome even the most difficult times, and it involves getting your degree in positivity. What is the positivity degree? Degree, it might be called the positivity degree, but it's more than just flipping a switch in your mind and suddenly you're positive. In order to be positive in your everyday life, you need to learn certain skills. Two of the most important skills have already been mentioned. Hope. When we carry hope in our hearts, it's easier for us to let go of the negativity. For example, when something stops you from doing what you want to do, you may find that you start doubting yourself but if you have hope that you will still get a chance to do what you want to do then you can let go of the situation that kept you from doing what you want faith, faith is an important part of the positivity degree and follows from hope when you hope something will happen. You are act, act, actively thinking about it, but when you start having, but when you start having faith, that's when you trust that something will happen so much that it feels as if it's already happened. There are X more modules in the pop. if it's already happened. There are X more modules in the positivity degree. Divine timing, going back to the example, imagine something happened that kept you from doing what you wanted. You hope for another chance to do what you want to do and you have faith that an opportunity will come along. The next step in the positivity degree would be to trust in divine timing. It's always comforting to remember that when things don't work out the way you hope, it probably be, it's probably because something better is on its way. Your garden angel is constantly working to give you the best in life and sometimes they change the order of things a bit to give you better opportunities which brings us to the final module trust your garden angel this is possibly the most difficult part of the positivity degree here you need to put your faith in a blessing 
put your faith in a being other than yourself, it can be very difficult because most of us like to have at least some form of control over our lives. Of course, trusting your guardian angel wholeheartedly doesn't mean giving up on your hopes and dreams. It just means taking your hope and dream, hopes and dreams to them and then trusting that they will Hello, lead you on the path that that's right for you. To graduate with a positive degree, it's essential that you matter, you master the final module. When you don't trust your garden angel wholeheartedly, it's very easy for doubts to start creeping in. There is no such thing as smooth sailing. Sure, being positive does make life a lot easier, and it also makes life a lot more enjoyable because you're so focused on the blessing in your life. But that doesn't mean everything is going to be smooth sailing once you've earned your positivity degree. There will still be ups and downs. The only difference is that you'll be better equipped to deal with the lows and appreciate the highs more with what you learn in the degree. By working through the modules and applying what you learn, you'll not only have hope and faith by your side like Crystal wants, you'll also be sure that things are going What's to going, to going the way that you will bring about the best for you that you will have no option but to be positive in the long run do keep in mind that being positive doesn't mean you're always happy and smiling you're all you're allowed to get angry or sad the difference is that with the degree, you'll go back to being peaceful and content faster than without it. And that is me, Archangel Crystal. I already have a, a diploma from a Christian Bible school. Graduated in 2006. And I'm about to get my positively positivity degree. Amen.